It was about time. I was 19 years old. Mitchell made a remarkable comeback. He paid off his debts and died in 1955, a highly respected figure on Wall Street. In 1936, William Durant filed for bankruptcy. His only assets, which he valued at $250, were the clothes on his back. In the late 30s, the founder of General Motors tried his hand at everything from running a bowling alley to selling a cure for dandruff. He died in 1947, still talking about making a comeback. Herbert Hoover spent much of the early 1930s fishing. He explained in a speech that fishing is a constant reminder of humility and of human frailty. For all men are equal before fishes. The game on Wall Street had changed a great deal for Livermore. And the SEC was becoming a powerful factor and the rules were changed. He couldn't operate freely, buy and sell, the way he had in the past. And he couldn't adapt to the new regulations. So in a sense, his playing with the market was over. And I think a great deal of his interest in life was over at that point. The game was gone. In 1940, the day before Thanksgiving, a photographer snapped this photograph of an old and very tired Jesse Livermore. Several hours later, Livermore would go into a men's washroom and put a bullet through his head. At the end of 1929, as they celebrated New Year's Eve, all that lay in the future. Nobody knew that the Great Depression was coming. Unemployment, bread lines, bank failures, this was unimaginable. Then good luck came a knocking at my door. But the bubble had burst. Gone was that innocent optimism, the confidence, the illusion of wealth without work. One era had ended. They toasted the coming of the 30s. But somewhere deep down, they knew the party was over. Blue sky smiling at me. Nothing but blue sky do I see. I never saw the sun shining so bright. I never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. 